Hello and welcome to Indus News live from Islamabad. I am Anib Hamid and these are the headlines. Azerbaijan's President Ilham Aliyev says the Azeri army has liberated seven more villages from Armenian occupation. Meanwhile, ethnic Armenian forces said 51 more service personnel have been killed in the conflict over the Nagorno-Karabakh region. Earlier, Turkey rejected Armenia's demands for a ceasefire after a week of fierce fighting. Britain and France have posted record high rise in daily coronavirus cases in second wave of the pandemic. In a video, US President Donald Trump says he is doing well, but the next few days will be the real test. Meanwhile, India has recorded 940 deaths and nearly 76,000 cases in the past 24 hours. Here in Pakistan, six more people have lost their lives, raising the toll to 6,513. Thousands of Israelis have defied a ban on anti-government protests to demand Prime Minister Netanyahu's resignation. Police said 38 protesters were arrested as they gathered near Netanyahu's residency and over a thousand other locations across the country. They were calling for the Prime Minister's ouster over his corruption-related indictment and his mishandling of the COVID-19 pandemic. Muslims in Saudi Arabia have been allowed to perform the Umrah pilgrimage after seven months' hiatus due to the coronavirus pandemic. Saudi state media said in the first phase, 6,000 people begin performing the pilgrimage under strict social distancing measures. Visitors from abroad will be permitted after the capacity is raised to 20,000 pilgrims per day. Well, that is all for now. For the latest updates, you can follow us on social media at indus.news. Take care.